Welcome to a pixel-free box opening video of the game Police Precinct 2nd Edition. Police Precinct is a game designed by Oli Steinus and published by Common Man Games. You might be curious by the title of the video. I call this a cheating box opening because I have never played the first edition of Police Precinct, nor do I own the first edition. So this is my first exposure to the game. So that I don't waste your time on camera opening the components and trying to figure out what they are, I already took a peek inside so that I would be better prepared to discuss each of the components as I come across them inside the box and also the contents of the rule book. So you'll see that the shrink wrap is taken off the box already, but everything inside the box that is uh, still inside of its shrink wrap. And the first thing I wanted to show you is a flyer that came inside the shipping box. I'm not sure if this will be included in all future shippings. However, essentially it tells you how this game is improved over this first edition. It also tells you how this game is used to teach real cadets and police academies across the country as a teaching tool. And also that it's a perfect tool for middle school and high school students to teach them about the police profession. So I thought it was a nice little touch to throw that in the box. Also what came in the box are three expansions to the game. I'm going to put these expansions off to the side for a second because I'll get to these towards the end of the video. So they came packed separately outside of the box. Also what came packed outside the box was one custom die. Now this custom die was uh, I understand especially produced for this game. And according to Carl Fenner, the director of Common Man Games, at least he's posted online, he's made the promise online that more of these custom dice will be produced in the future. So be on the lookout for those and hold them to it. All right, well, let's take a look inside the box. After all, that's what this video is about, isn't it? First, I forgot to mention that this is a cooperative game, but it can also be played as a semi-cooperative game with the dirty cop option, or better known as a traitor. So, if you are interested in playing semi-cooperative games with a trader, this just may be the ticket for you. Alright, let's take a look inside. Like I said, I've already cheated, so that's why the shrink wrap is off. And what we have, alright, first thing that faces us is the crime track. Essentially, if you get down to here, then the game is lost. On the other side of the crime track is interesting. They provide alternate artwork. I believe this is new for the second edition. Here is the Murder Investigation Board. I also believe that this is new artwork since the second edition. And from what I understand, you have to have all these spaces filled in order for you to solve the murder. And so here are the punch boards. There are two punch boards. Take a look at these. Of course, the most obvious are the donuts. I believe the donuts are provided as some sort of reward or bonus for doing good things during the game. And I think they're also used as currency. You have punk tokens. These punks, I believe, are new for the second edition. Upgrade tokens. Block tokens. And on the back, slightly different artwork. I also believe that this is new for the second edition is a different colored background for the punks. Officer Downs. Or Officer Down, sorry. So there's one punch board. The second punch board. You have your police cars. And I believe these are your unknown circumstance tokens. On the back side of the police cars, so you have your unmarked cars and your marked cars with the police lights on top. And I've already punched one token there. Got a head start. All right, okay, now let's get 
the, perhaps the most beautiful rule book I've ever seen amongst all the games that I've encountered. This rule book is thick and heavy, and it's very glossy. As you can tell by the glare in those lights, every page is a thick, glossy page. It's also hefty in amount of rules also. The first two pages are all about setup, and they also have a nice touch. If you're learning to play, they recommend you go to page 15 where they have some special tips for you. That's a nice touch. After you get through the two pages about setup, then the actual rules begin on page 4. And there's about 12 pages worth of rules just for the basic game. Phase 1, Phase 2, come here Phase 3. Phase 4. Again, something else that you'll notice are just the beautiful graphics. I think the artwork throughout the rulebook is fantastic. Illustrations full of arrows and examples. Uh, it's just an intuitive rulebook, and it is very, very nicely done. All right. Page 12. Talks about the calendar track at the top. That's how the game is measured as far as time. The city crime track, that's when the game is going to end. Or, excuse me, if you get to the end of the crime track, then the game ends. And we get down to the last page of the core rules, page 15. Talks about how the game ends. Got special rules. And down here at the bottom, talked about... Uh, little paragraph for beginning players. You got some really nice touches there. And then we got four pages of how to play the Dirty Cop variant. Dirty Cop is your trader variant or your semi cooperative variant. And one of the nice things about this is here in this section, you see that they provide a couple different options for how to implement the Dirty Cop into the game. Uh, you can either have a known Dirty Cop amongst all the players. So if you have a four player game, you know one of them is going to be a dirty cop. Or they do it, they have an option to do it like the Dead of Winter style, where you may or may not have a dirty cop. You just don't know for sure. So they have a couple different variations to the setup. But there are four pages that talks about how to play the dirty cop variant. And something else I like is you see some highlighting there. Now that highlighting is not done by me, that's done by the publisher. So that also is a very nice touch. I really like to see books that uh, stress those important aspects of the rules. And we have a page here that talks about all the changes to the second edition. And something else that's nice in, with the second edition is there's a second side or an underside to the board. And so you've got the underbelly board, which we'll show you in a second. Got a couple special rules. But basically, it's going to be a seedier, different kind of game if you play the Underbelly. And talks about some of the new tokens that come with the second edition. And a page is dedicated to how you can adjust how difficult the game is going to be for you. A whole page of different adjustments you can make if you want the game harder or easier. Uh, newspaper clippings, and then credits for the game here at the end. Something that was interesting when I read these credits is that the characters that are used in the game are modeled after real-life police officers. And then here on this page, you have a one-page player's aid. Now, there's some pretty small font there. There's a lot going on on this player's aid page, so I'm pretty sure it'd be just a matter of time before we see it show up as something, as a one-page you can download off of Board Game Geek. And then there's the index. And then on the back side of the rule book. You have another player's aid showing you some of the highlights of how the game plays. All right, so that is the rules. Looks fantastic. All right, now here's the board. I'm going to wait a couple minutes before opening the board. So we'll put the board aside for a second. Let's take a look inside and see what we have. For the character cards. All right, as a couple seconds ago, all these characters they provide different traits, different characteristics, different skills, as in with most cooperative games. These police officers, according 
and through that page in the rule book are modeled after real life police officers. And so they did their homework. But here's another nice touch. Check out this. All right, what is common amongst all these characters? Well, they're all guys, aren't they? They're all guys. Well, check out this nice little touch. Flip it over. And now, got all females. All gals here. So you got eight character cards. So you have eight females and eight males. I think that's a nice touch. Package of six dice. And now we've got the cards that come in the game. All right, all of you out there are going to cringe when you see me opening this package with a knife. But I do have a little practice. All of your different emergency cards. Cards are nice stock, nice and stiff. A very fine linen finish on the cards. So your emergency cards. Event cards. Actually, I guess looking at the back of the cards, they're all event cards. Players' aid tech cards. And then these are the cards that are used for the semi cooperative game or for the dirty cop version. So either you're going to be a dirty cop or you're going to be a good cop. And they also include two dirty cop cards in case you want to play a game with two dirty cops amongst your game group. And the last deck of cards, again, these are in the shrink wrap, so I didn't cheat and look at these earlier. Last deck of cards in the got box before we open up the board. A quick look at these different outcomes, crime scene evidence. Again, I've not played the game before, so even though I said I did a little homework before getting on camera here, I really don't know what all these cards do. There's quite a few of them. Decks are complete. Many, many cards. This really looks like it's going to be a fun game. Okay. So that's what you get for the cards that come in the core game. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the board. From what I understand, this is one of the bigger changes from the first edition. Uh, improved artwork and two-sided. So let's open it up and take a look at what we got. There we go, look at that. This is the game side. Okay, you got your police precinct right there, uh, somewhat in the middle of the city. You can see different buildings. Again, uh, for those of you familiar with the first edition, um, obvious change in the artwork. Different street names. And some of the street names are named after notable people in the gaming industry and different warehouses apartment complexes the board measures 24 by 36 inches or 61 centimeters by 91 centimeters now i've already told you that this is a double-sided board so let's take a look at the other side
All right. This is the underbelly side. As the rules say, this is the game you want to play if you want a little bit of a dirtier, grittier, seedier kind of experience. The thing I need to show you are the different expansions that can come, do come with the game. First, let's talk about the Crooked Lawyers expansion. is a booster pack style expansion that was made available to Kickstarter backers. Hopefully someday Common Man Games will also make it available to retail. So, got a small deck of cards, murder weapons, there you go, murder weapon, handgun, knife, shotgun, and look like some more event cards. Yep, yeah, so we got event cards. So this expansion pack includes some more event cards. Now this is a nice little touch. Look at these two event cards right there. They're blank. If you want to create your own, here you go. All right, now... This is not officially part of the official box opening because I believe these are expansions that were um, right now being shipped with only Kickstarter games. But I also believe that they'll be available to the public pretty soon. So I'll go ahead and take a look at these. This is the Heat. The Heat expansion. Uh, got cards of rules. Setup chart. So this is what comes in the heat expansion. So it's specialist, experts, analysis. Again, I've never played this, so take this for what it's worth. And then finally, this is the Writing Gangs. Writing Gangs, actually this is called Writing Gangs Plus. If you take a look on the web. And it has event cards. That's what it is. So here's the writing gangs cards. There's more event cards, including a dirty bomb promo. So get a little closer. The dirty bomb promo. But it also includes madman cards. So Common Man Games calls these the well, calls these the Madman cards. Okay, well that's the entire box. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a more of a detailed look at what you get inside the box, in case you were thinking about purchasing this game. Have a great day.